Well, that's not the C10 video I was expecting to put out for you guys. I was in uh, this intersection right here. You can kind of see it where the lights are. And it shut off. I started it, drove like five feet, shut off, started it, drove like five feet. And I can, with the key on, I just, I made it into this parking lot here. But with the key on, I can hear the fuel pump barely running and it used to be loud. And it cuts in and out. The wiring's good. So it's definitely the fuel pump. And I wasn't really happy with how I had that plumbed anyway. It was external and stuff. So I'm gonna get an in-tank one. And I think I'll, I'll be able to limp at home, I think, tonight. But I'm gonna wait till my dad gets out of work have him uh, follow me with his truck and then if it dies on the way home we'll just tow it with a strap because I only live three or four minutes away from here so I guess that's the C10 video for you guys and it'll probably it'll be back out next year of course but it's probably the last time I'm gonna drive it before the snow flies because the snow is gonna fly any day now so sorry it wasn't a very action-filled video but I broke down so I guess that's something but I'll film tonight when we come get it, I guess, and see if I can make it home. Well, what that video is going to be is me running some errands in the C10, some GoPros outside, showing the exhaust, and also showing how bad the transmission is because I ruined it, like the week I got it back. It's a stock 4L60E, and it's just not happy with life. It won't downshift all the time. It's a bunch of codes. I changed the fluid and put like some seafoam transmission stuff in it, which helped a little bit. But now the fuel pump died, so now the truck's broke down. So when my dad gets out of work, I'm gonna, it'll kind of idle and die and idle and die and putt around. So I'm just gonna let it sit. Should be okay. I only live five minutes from there. And he's gonna follow me home and bring a tow strap. And if it breaks down, we'll just tow it the remainder of the way just with his truck. And I'll just ride mine and steer and do brakes and it'll be fine. I'm from MPS and there's the C10 right there. So sad seeing it broke down on the side of the road there. But you know, I guess things happen and you just gotta keep working on your projects and making them better and I learned a weak point in the truck so now we'll do a new fuel system too, so add that to the list, I guess, but whatever. I guess I'm not going to get too mad about it, I'll go get it tonight, and life goes on, so that's it. Alright, my dad came and picked me up, I'm driving the truck home, it didn't really want to start, it has no power, but I'm making it home bad fuel pump. We're trying our best here. So I'll keep you updated if it breaks down. I'll keep the camera rolling. I'm at a red light now so this is kind of scary if it shuts off. But we'll see. The pump's definitely bad. It goes in and out. I just don't want to break down in the intersection like what I did in the way here. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, even with an external mic, but it's misfiring and bogging right now, but we're in the neighborhood. So it's cutting in and out, but it's making it. You don't have to pay for a tow or drag it with a Sierra, so that's good. Yeah, it's, she's, it's turning on and off right now. I hope you can hear it. And it's shut off, turn back on. And it's shut off, turn back on. And it died in the driveway. Could not have timed that any better. I guess it worked. We, we died in the driveway. Oh, died again. Ugh. Trying to steer with no power steering. But I guess I'll open up the garage door. 
But I guess that couldn't have worked out any better. I died close enough to a parking lot to get it in there in the way. On the way home, I died in the driveway, so.